And that bonus point victory over the Western Force has seen the Brumbies qualify for their second consecutive final series, finishing in fourth place. Gives them that home final, fittingly, of course, against the defending champions, the Chiefs. The reinforcements have arrived. The timely return of four Wallabies has the Brumbies primed for another final charge. You know, having those guys back and really performing for us from the Wallabies, um, you know, really gave us that boost into this last uh, little bit. We went out there um, with a point to prove. I think uh, Steve was talking all week about intent to play and wanting to play, and I think the best thing is we've got the cattle to do so. Um, so it was really good that we, we led right from the start and then we uh, got some momentum and then um, carried on throughout the game. Often criticised for playing boring rugby, the Brumbies wound back the clock to score 47 points for the first time since 2010. Gives it to Spade on the far side. Henry Spade takes the ball. Oh, what a try! Brilliant! Uh, no, the backs were outstanding on the weekend. You know, any all well, the ball that we gave them, they definitely made uh, good use use of it, and then sort of flied. You know, and then they got us on the front foot, and then we managed to give them quick ball again and. Uh, and it just flowed really nicely. We've been talking about it all year that we want to put skill on our game. Um, you know, we've got the ability to play direct and, and, and play pressure footy, but to win this competition, you've got to be scoring points. You've got to be on the, on the front foot. And, uh, you know, we probably went into our shells there for a couple of weeks just trying to play conservatively to, to rescue a bit of form back. And it was nice to see the guys, you know, really get to express themselves last week. Uh, you know, if you're scoring seven tries, things are going well. Their challenges aren't some other team. They are back-to-back -back champions, and they are peaking at the right time. Williams! Oh! oh, that's a big shot. We've got experience in big games. They've won the last two for a reason. Um, Aaron Cruden's coming back, and he's in form, and he was the best 10 in the world last year. Um, and, you know, for me to come up against them again, this is quite exciting. They've got some really big game players, so guys like Brody Vitalik and Liam Messam. Uh, you know, those guys have played big matches for the All Blacks. And then their whole team, obviously, they haven't lost a finals match in the last couple of years. Uh, so that big game temperament as a side is a hallmark of a championship side, and they're, they're reigning back-to-back -back champions. Their supporters have played their part this year in Canberra, with GIO Stadium becoming a fortress for the Brums. Seven wins on the trot, giving them added confidence. And when we ever get a big crowd, we've always played well. Uh, you know, in the second half of the game, when you start getting tired, and the crowd just really starts yelling and gives you that second wave of momentum. Uh, it can be the difference between winning and losing. Um, look, it adds a massive boost having home games and, um, you know, playing the Chiefs in a, in a grand final rematch. I know our fans are excited like we are.